air brake check. The air brake check must be demonstrated completely incorrectly or the test will result in an automatic failure. If you make a mistake on any part of the air brake chest, then start it over from the beginning. So there are four parts to the air brake check, the air gauge and governor cutoff check, air leakage rate test, uh, the air warning devices test, and emergency brakes pop out test. Um, all these need to be completed in order, so not inspecting anything else in between. And once you've uh, turned the engine off, you should, um, after the governor cutoff, you need to complete the other three parts of the test uh, without restarting the vehicle. So to start, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure that my wheels are chalked, which they are, then I'm gonna start the vehicle. So doing a safe start. Double checking neutral, double checking parking and trailer brakes are set. Okay, next I'm going to uh, release my trailer and parking brakes. So my wheels are chalked. I'm gonna release the trailer and parking brake to make sure that uh, <coughs> when we build up the air pressure uh, and the governor cuts out, we are at full air pressure. We're not losing a whole lot of pressure uh, when we start our air leakage rate test. So the first part, step number one, is the governor cutout test. So we're gonna check the um, gauges, make sure that they are working properly and that they are the air is building to the normal governor cutout, which is between 120 and 140 PSI. I'm gonna raise the RPM to build that pressure a little bit faster. Now when you're starting the test, if your vehicle is already at governor cutout, then go ahead and pump the brakes down a little bit to let the governor kick back in because the whole point of this test is to see when the governor cuts out on the vehicle, not necessarily that it's already at full pressure. So you need to say what the pressure is when the governor cuts out. Again, the pressure should be between 120 and 140 PSI uh, for the governor cutout. So I'm listening for the trailer or the tractor to sneeze or watch and see that the needles stop moving, which would indicate the governor has cut out. Okay, I just heard the sneeze. So the governor has cut out. It's about 125 PSI. That's between 120 and 140 PSI. So that is operating correctly. Okay, next is our air leakage rate test. I wanna check um, that we're losing no more than four PSI in one minute. So I'm gonna check that my brakes are released. So both of these valves are pushed in. I'm gonna turn the engine off and the key back to the on position. So it's important that the engine is off so it's not building air um, while you're doing this rate test and the key on so that our gauges are working properly. So I'm gonna fully apply the service brake and make sure again that my valves are pushed in and the brakes are released. I'm gonna check my air pressure and see when the needles stop moving, when they settle. We're right about 105 PSI and 120 PSI. So on the primary 105 secondary gauge, we're at, well, about 115 PSI. So I'm gonna watch that for one minute starting now and I should lose no more than four PSI in one minute. So you can use your phone or timer, watch, whatever, to uh, time this uh, during the test. But you need to make sure that you are holding that for one minute, that the service brake is fully applied, 
and you don't want to move your foot on that brake, um, pushing it any harder or releasing it as you could artificially lose air and not have a good test. So again, hold that for one minute. Also during any part of the air brake test, if you did something wrong, do something wrong, forget something, start over from the beginning, uh, start the engine, build the air pressure all the way up to governor cutout and follow steps one through four. All right, so it's been one minute. We haven't lost any air pressure. So we've lost zero pressure in one minute. That is good. Again, we can lose no more than four PSI in one minute. Um, the next test is our air warning devices. Um, so without restarting the engine, you need to explain that you're checking that the low air indicator light and buzzer comes on above 55 PSI. So I'm we'll gonna start fanning the brake and stop when the low air warning light and buzzer comes on. And I wanna see when that comes on. So it's right about 60 PSI there. So that's above 55 PSI. So the low air uh, warning uh, test is good. And next I'm going to check the emergency brakes pop out test. So I'm going to continue fanning the brakes to see when both protection valves pop out. So both of these should pop out uh, between 20 and 45 PSI. So I'm going to watch the valves closely because sometimes only one valve will pop out. And if that happens, um, we'll stop pumping and say what the pressure is when that valve pops out. And then continue pumping until the next valve pops out. Or if they both pop out at the same time, um, we can just say what the pressure is there. So again, it's important that you watch the valves so that you know if just a single valve pops out or if both. So I'm pumping. Okay, so both valves popped out, so I stopped pumping. Come over here, check. The air pressure is at 30 PSI, and that is between 20 and 45, so that is working properly. Uh, so just keep in mind, if you're not sure if both valves pop out, never pull on them. You can push on them to see if they uh, move or don't move. You know, if they move like these, then that's uh, showing that it's popped out. Now, if you push on it and it doesn't move, then that's an indicator that it has not popped out. 